You ready? Let's first play. Let's give this a old college try. Three, four, five, six. All I've done so far is look at these cards. That's all I've done. No joke, War Machine fly like a butterfly is a lot of fun. I'll have to try that. Don't be rushed. All right, Soaring Hearts, team up card. Not going to happen. Uh, power Flight, I like the idea of. Super Power Tech. This card seems sweet when I would check it out. Elixir Adaptive Plumage. I like that. Um, okay. Containment Strategy. After... There we go. After a hero defends against an attack, remove one threat. Oh, that's right. You put on the side scheme. I remember that now. I don't want to do that. A lot of oof heroes. He has, he has like 10. Um, elixir. I don't know how much I like elixir. All right. So I like the idea of keeping these three. But heroes, I like so chat bugs me. That is the secret. You just got to wait, wait till chat finds out that I actually love Doctor Strange. And that, that play has really just backfired on me. Okay, so ever vigilant, uh, ready your hero, remove two threat from the main scheme. Oh, I do like that card. I like the idea of that card. Okay, so let's look at his card for a second. So after you play an aerial event, you get to draw a card, which I like the idea of. And on this side, which I don't like the idea of, um, you get to deal damage, which is fine, but I don't want to take extra tokens on so let's flip up to angel side and after you play an aerial event draw a card so what we can do oh wait but this would have to remove threat for the main scheme and that's not gonna be a thing i forgot all right wait, 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 wait. all right we, we need to re-strategize here i have to remember how the game works first off So we do that. Exhaust this to ready angel or to reduce the cost of the next aerial event you play by two. Okay. This is an aerial event. I like that. Ugh. Okay. I don't really like any of these cards. All right. Angel form. All right. Angel. I Let's flip up to angel. I feel like this should be the right play. No, wait. Yes. Oh my god. I don't know. If we do. All right, let's dump both Ever Vigilant and Metamorphosis to play Techno Organic Wings. I feel like that's a safe play for the long run. Um, hold on. Let's stay in this form for a second. So we do that. We get that card. And then what we can do is flip up. This is still not going to work the way I want, but that's okay. So we'll thwart two. Did you build this deck with precon? This is precon. We'll use the wings to ready up Angel. And then exhaust, and we'll just get rid of defense network, right? Let's just let's just play slow and safe, right? See how that goes. Hopefully that's all right. Um, we're gonna hold on to this and see how this goes. Ready it up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right. Um. Let's start. So this gets one. He's going to attack. We have 12 life. Let's let's play around with that. So let's just take a hit for zero to two damage. That's fine. One, two. Uh, does two more damage. That's fine. That's fine. Bad card is something good. All right, armor guard. Guard and tough. So guard on the villain. Okay. Got to figure out what to do with that in a second. So razor dive. All right, so razor dive. We could do an Archangel side, and that would be pretty good. Okay. I'm going to flip up to Big big Boy Angel. All right. 
the whirlwind thing too? Yeah, there's no other heroes, so we don't have to do anything. Uh, it just says when whirlwind attacks you, also resolves the attack against each other hero. So we're good. But thank you. All right, so big boy angel. What we'll do is exhaust this as Archangel will reduce the cost of the next aerial event you play in your hand by two this phase. So we're going to be playing Razor Dive. We'll throw away Medical Aid for right now. To an enemy. Okay. So we're going to deal six damage to an enemy if your Archangel, which we are, this attack gains overkill and piercing. So we're going to pierce through this, deal three damage, and then gets rid of the guard and does three damage to call. One, two, three. Cool. Um, now... We do the cost, right? Which was three. So that goes three damage onto Whirlwind. God, I feel like I already have more offensive strategy than I did for Psylocke. All right, cool. Now, we can do the Power of Flight, which doubles the resource generator for aerial cards, and do uh, Containment Strategy, which allows us to do Adaptive Plumage. So if you're Archangel, which we are, or Archangel, deal four damage to enemy and stun it. I'm going to do it with the Claw. One, two, three, four, and we're going to stun Claw, so we don't have to worry about him. Cool. And that's it. So now we're ready up. Five hand size, which is really nice. So much better than Ant-Man. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So Taunt. Taunt, I do like the idea of this card, though. I will say that. Uh, Worthington Industries, I thought was actually a pretty good card, too. Skill card. Okay. No. Oh, wait. We do have an aerial card there. That's actually nice. Okay. If you were Psylocke, that's okay. I don't want more. So two goes on right now because of this. This was my biggest fear with Archangel. Archangel. Is it Arc? Or arch. Is it a CH or a K? Let me know. Um, this is my biggest worry with Big Boy Angel, right? Was that um adding extra stuff on would be like not good. So we'll see how that goes. Arc, 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 arc. Perfect. Hopefully no one disagrees. Stunned does two more damage. That's fine. Bad card is. Sonic Boom. Either spend one of it or exhaust each character you control. You know I just realized? It never exhausted Archangel and did anything with them. I'm going to do two damage. All right. We did this. All right, chat. I know YouTube's going to watch it later and criticize it. I, I exhausted this and did damage. So just, just FYI. Don't, don't, don't tell anyone. Okay. So now we're going to exhaust on Sonic Boom and we're done. All right, cool. He doesn't build out well. Good. Very sounds fantastic. Okay. Let's do two, three, four. Oh, aerial event card. Boo. All right, I do like soaring. Acrobatics, I would like to get this in, but now is not the time, as they say. So let's change to this angel, right? So after you play an aerial event, okay. So we're going to play Siren, 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 who is an aerial card. So double the number of resources this card generates while paying for an aerial card, not an aerial event, just an aerial card. So that's two, <coughs> three, four. <coughs> Excuse me. Put Siren in. Siren, Siren, Siren. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so now we can exhaust these wings to ready up Angel, which I like. I like that. That's fun. Now, S S S S S Siren um, is going to do two damage to Claw. After they attack, stun a minion. I like that. And then I'm going to thwart two off of the main. I like that. This feels good so far. Feels like I'm handling things. Except I only have six life, which is less good. But that's fine. Uh, Worthington, I, I, I'm going to hold on. I know. I know I shouldn't. But I want to. So two, three, four, five. What is aerial intervention again? When a character would take any amount of damage from an attack, exhaust an aerial character you control, prevent up to three of that damage. When a character would take any amount of damage from an attack, exhaust an aerial character. 
Okay. All right. I don't hate that. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Okay. I want to play as fast as I can. I want to play for six hours. <laughs> All right, there we go. Claw's going to attack. We're going to take the hit. So it's going to be zero. Okay, if this activation deals damage, exhaust your hero. Get the villain a tough stats. It doesn't deal damage, right? Well, hold on. There's a weird rule with this. I have to think about this for a second. It's not, it's not, is it dealing damage? It's not, right? This should be simple, but I feel like I messed this up in the past. Because is it dealing zero damage? I feel like I did this once and I got yelled at on YouTube that zero is still dealing because of the whole deal and take damage. And I don't remember now why you can't use sidestep when you take zero damage. That's taking damage though. This is dealing. This is the issue is that yes, you can't sidestep when you take damage, but I think you can deal zero damage. I think zero is not damage. Are we sure? I, I, I wish I bookmarked it because somebody explained it to me and then found the rules. All right, we're going to go with no now because logically it makes sense. And that's why I think it's wrong. <laughs> All right, we're gonna say now. So we're gonna we're gonna say I I I, I was dealt no damage. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, we'll just go with that for now until somebody says anything else. Uh, whirlwind stunned. Stunned. Oh, good. The immortal call. It's not possible to take the damage. The, the problem is the card was also made before 1.5 rules of deal and take. This was a part of the problem with deal and take. And this is why I really don't like the rule of deal and take damage. And where they should have just left all this alone. Because um, when it was written, there was no distinction between the two things. Now there is, and that's a part of the problem from what I remember. Like if I remember correctly, and again, I'm sure YouTube will correct this later on. You could still deal zero damage you're just not taking any damage which there is a difference there all right so that was our bad card so now it's our turn also non-profit's gonna share the rules on me it's it's i forgot what deal and take is under now too and usually i have it up on my screen too the amount of damage it carries just them that damage Okay, when the amount of damage a character takes is modified, the amount of damage dealt is not modified. Damage a character takes is modified. The amount of damage dealt is not modified. Oh, okay. So if you reduce it though, you were still dealt damage. Isn't it the same logic as when you take zero with a tough? <laughs> yes, but that's taking versus dealing. And that's the issue. <laughs> so you're right. Because you took no damage. And what it is. Today is moist. <laughs> All right. So we'll, we'll, again, we'll assume, we'll assume it's good. If I get yelled on YouTube later. Thank you, YouTube. Or maybe YouTube will just be like, nah, y'all got it right. A weird ruling? It is weird. It is very weird. And this is this is still why to this day I hate deal and take. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I think it's dumb and they need to simplify it. They should have never started this problem with Colossus and Groot. They made this problem themselves and decided to go down this, this weird rabbit hole with it. And then instead of just back off. But whatever. Okay.
He is tough. I don't love the tough, that's for sure. Um, uh, three threat and scheme and confused enemy. Oh, okay. Adaptive plumage is a good thing to do. We will do that for sure. You read things? I think you are good. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so what I want to do is adaptive plumage, right? As angel. Because if you're angel, remove three threat from a scheme, which is sweet. So I want to do, we'll throw away one, two, three. Okay, we'll throw away three cards. And we'll do this. If you're an angel, remove three threat from a scheme. We'll do it from a mortal claw. Because I hate it. And then this goes out of my 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You don't exhaust? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all, chat, for checking this stuff. There we go. All right, so he went down 10. Cool. Now, we confused an enemy. I like that. Now, we played an aerial event, so we get to draw a card. Okay, that's fine. I get to thwart two. Then we can use the wings to ready our hero, which is cool. Uh, I'm going to throw away a thing to play our industry card. And then we'll just shuffle an aerial card back in. I actually really like adaptive plumage. I think that is a dope card. Vulture, you leave it. Take care, man. All right. So then we're going to flip down to... Worthington. Heal one damage from him. Okay, we'll do that. And then I'm going to exhaust to heal three more. Two, three. Cool. S -s 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 Siren is going to deal damage to knock out Whirlwind. I feel really good about that. That felt really good. All right, let's ready up. Uh, hand size is six. It's dumb to have different rules for deal and take. Amen. Four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm about to say with a tough claw deals eight damage, but it takes zero. You would still have to exhaust. Ow, that's the way it is. All right, JS, I appreciate it. So now, chat, we all know that's that's what I was that's what I was thinking of. I'm not crazy. That's what I was thinking of. All right, cool. So one goes on here. He's confused. That's the whole not modified thing. That makes a bit more sense. Uh, weapons runner surges. Melter. Okay, so we got some guys to take out, which is okay. We can we can handle it. I love agility. Do I have agility? Oh, avian anatomy. After you spend this card to pay for an aerial event, return that event to your hand after he's. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. I am a fan. Natural flight. Remove four threat from a scheme. I don't want to do that. I do like this card, though, but I want to use it. Okay, but we do want to do Worthington Industries. I'm going to do the Adaptive Plumage thing again. Right? There's another one in there? Yeah, there's another one. We shuffle, all right. Yeah, I just shuffle one aerial card. Then we are an Alter Ego, so we get to draw a card. Cool. Uh, Taunt. The villain attacks you. Other characters can't defend against the attack. Draw three cards. Well, I do love the idea of drawing three cards. Probably not going to do that. <laughs> All right. Warp Path is an aerial card, which is nice. Move for threat. I don't love. Aerial Intervention. One. Oh, that's one of the damage would take a thing. I do want different cards, though. I don't like these cards. Oh, I can heal one. That's nice. Heal one more. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lucas. Rules from Marvel Chains mostly run off. All right, natural flight. Air, oh, wait, aerial angels airy. Remove after you defend against an attack. Place one fatigue counter here. I feel like that could be fun to do well. I just played my first game today. Nice, awesome. How'd you like it? All right, so if we go up to the attack guy, I don't think that's good. I don't think we're gonna do that. And we can't do five damage. Do we have the villain attack us? So we can draw three cards. I feel like there's a lot of options there with that. It's worth a try, right? 
yeah we're okay so we're gonna go up to angel side right and see how this goes um totally see how people can get hurt yeah dude it's awesome i'm gonna use aerial inter or throw away aerial intervention to play taunt right the villain attacks you other characters cannot defend all right so he's attacking against me that's fine zero one put weapons running and playing game okay cool so it would do one damage actually i'm gonna let it do one damage that's fine now we get to draw three cards i'm hoping some big attacks happen nope uh nope uh, okay no okay not at all what i wanted um okay Let's throw away two cards to put in this uh, soaring acrobatics thing. We didn't play an aerial event, right? No, we didn't play an aerial event. All right, let's do... One, two... We're just gonna dump four cards to play Warpath. Because why not? All right. When an aerial character you control uses a basic power, exhaust soaring acrobatics, that character gets plus one. So it's just a character. It doesn't have to be my hero. Okay. Um. So I'm going to attack with one, but I can add plus one to it to take out one of these weapons runners because I don't like all of them. Is an exception unless you are getting one or two more benefits. Yeah. Have you seen Shadows yet? No. I have not. Not yet. Don't jinx it. Warpath will keep... Uh, an engaged player must defend against Melter's attack with an ally they control if able. Okay, that's fine. We are going to do that. Uh, oh, and then I can... I'll do that to unexhaust myself. And then we can attack another one. Uh, no, we'll do it off the tough. We'll ping the tough off. Alright, then we'll ready up. Drawler is five. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully not both of my big attacks. There's Cannonball. Everyone's so hyped for Cannonball. All right. So there's one off of there. Claw's going to attack. Um, what we'll do is have Warpath block it. Um, yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's fine. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Knocks his top off. That's fine. Melter. Siren's going to defend. Knock out Siren. That's fine. We have to defend using an ally. Weapons Runner's going to deal one damage. That's fine. And then bad card is illegal arms factory it comes in with four and then we're going to be getting extra bad cards but we're on a good side to deal with that because we can get rid of that somewhat quick maybe all right so oh we should have done this i don't know if we did that last time no i think we did let's take a aerial card shuffle it back in Let's put Razor Die back in. Why not? See what happens. See what happens. Angel is better than the War Machine. That's about as much as I'm willing to say. Uh, I, I can already agree with that greatly. All right, so we could do three damage. Okay. So, two, three uses that. Oops. So. After you play an aerial event, you get to draw a card. Um, okay. So, what we can do... Change the form. Wait, I need to draw a card, though. Okay, so what we, what we can do... Maybe. We'll, we'll, okay, we're gonna change form into big, big angel. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use techno organic wings to reduce the cost to play adaptive plumage by two. So we'll throw away ever vigilant. So, it's gonna deal four damage to an enemy. Um, let's just do it to Melter for now. Let me get to stun it. We get to use the cost, which is what? Three? Yeah, three. Which we'll use on Claw to take Claw into the next Claw. So now new Claw comes in at 18. 
but we have to look for a mortal claw and reveal it. Oops. All right, the immortal claw. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this yet, but that's fine. So that comes in like that. It comes in with 10 more hit points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So now, what we'll do... Throw that away. I'm going to use Power Flight to use as an action for Metamorphosis. To change your form, I'm going to be regular angel. Remove two threat from a scheme. We shall do it off of Illegal Arms Factory. And then, as a response, after you play an aerial event, this is responding to this, we get to draw a card. Please be cheap. Uh, aerial Agility. When an enemy attacks... Oh, it's a defense card. Okay. Then, we can use Soaring Acrobatics to now get plus three on our thwart. And get rid of a Mortal Claw. Goes down by ten. Okay. That felt pretty solid. I had nine life left. That felt really solid. Okay, cool. And then we have Cannonball and Aerial Agility. Uh, when an enemy attacks you, if you are Angel, ignore each boost icon. Okay. Actually, that's pretty. That's a pretty sweet card for Claw. Right? Because ignore each boost icon and each boost ability for this attack. It doesn't say like on the card, right? So I assume it's all the cards for one cost i can exalt i can get rid of all of it that's crazy also would the interrupt go before i flip the cards or would i have to flip the cards first which way would that work like do i get to see it or do i have to say no no, no i commit to it first good against venom too yeah yeah all right let's ready up go on aviator yeah if we didn't throw it away <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Ah, adaptive plumage. Like that. Hmm. Reveal the card and then interrupt. Okay, you would interrupt. Okay. One goes on the here. So let's reveal. So it's one four five so we're gonna throw away taunt to do this so it just does one damage to us hey melter uh warpath's gonna block this so it's gonna deal three damage to warpath oh no 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 no! i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry sorry he's stunned a weapon turn is gonna deal one damage to me that's fine take one damage now we're gonna get two bad cards because of this one so put that out all right first one is hey the villain attacks you that's pretty cool I have seven life left. Yeah, bring it. Whatever. All right. So one, two, three. Discard one card random from your hands. So three damage. One, two, three. And discard one random card from your hand. Oh, it is per phase. It's a good call. Third one down is Razor Dive. It's gone. All right, second bad card. I took off three, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, Claw attacks you. Okay. Uh, Warpath has to block this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Warpath does not make it. Cool. Uh, if attack deals damage, which it is, place one threat in the main scheme. All right, cool. All right. That didn't go great. You should draw a card. That's fine. We did. That didn't go great. I did not love that. Oh, Psylocke. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, Psylocke? Um, okay. We're probably going to have to go down. But we can't do adaptive plumage. Uh, okay. I want more doubles in this deck. That's what I've learned. Draw a card. I did. I did draw a card. You would. You mean with a defense, right? Yeah, I drew a card. 
I picked it up and I drew it. That's how we got Psylocke. Playing with Precon? Yeah, it's Precon. At printing doubles? Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> All right, so let's do... Let's thwart two off of Illegal Arms Factory, right? Get rid of that. Use the ring, the wings to ready yourself up. Um. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip down to Warren's side, heal one damage. We're gonna exhaust heal three. We're going to use Worthington Industries, I put that in the wrong pile, to put an aerial, an aerial card from your discard pile back into your deck. Um, Razor Dive's fine, because it's going to flip over. And the attack initiative, so it's before you flip the boost cards? Oh, is it? Oh, well, I messed it up. I would have done it anyway. Trust me, chat. All right, aerial agility. I'm going to dump three cards to play Cannonball. And we're going to hold on to Cannonball. <laughs> Let's ready up. So we're going to draw one. Shuffle. So I like Ally is pretty cool. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> this aerial trade would make it more useful. I got it. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you have 18 life, all right, I think we're going to go for the win soon. Okay, so. One goes under here. He's going to scheme for two, three, four. Pops this. Should be fine. Uh, discard cards for the encounter until the minions discard. Hey, get out of here, Shadow. All right, advance. Oh, good armor guard. All right, cool. Comes in with tough guard, which is fine. And this comes in with zero. Adds one, adds one. So that's two total. Cool. Two bad cards. The ally versions. <laughs> oh no, I I will come back to Psylocke eventually. Psylocke is fine. I was just tired of playing her so much. Uh, this card gains search. Each Masters of Evil minion attacks the hero that is engaged with. No attacks were made this way. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for Masters of Evil minion. Put oh, I have to put in play. Where's Whirlwind? Put Whirlwind in. All right. So I think this gets discarded and then this shuffles. Can you like pick Psylocke in like two weeks? Just give me like a little break. You glare on the hero card? I know it's because it bends. That's why. If it didn't bend, it wouldn't be clear. But oh well. Double check me that, that that would stay out. Okay. Okay. It's not what I wanted. Two, three. So that's two, three. Okay. Sue. So. Okay. I am going. What does he have? 18 life? We can probably win with 18, right? So let's, all right, let's heal one. 18, uh, 6, 12, 15, 16, 17. Oh, we're going to be like just short. Let's do shuffle one aerial card from our discard pile. We can't do that because there is none in our discard pile. And it's not really worth throwing away anything right now to get it going. So 
We're going to pop up to Big Boy Angel. Where's Die Bomb when you need it? I know. Dude, I can't wait to play Aggression. Um, okay. So we're going to do Techno Organic Wings and throw away uh, Soaring Acrobatics to play Razor Dive. Now, we're going to deal 6 damage to an enemy if you're Archangel. Arc, 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 Archangel. The attack gains Overkill and Piercing. Perfect. Pierce through that. 3 damage and then 3 damage. Uh, 1, 2, 3. 3 cost event, which deals 3 damage to the enemy. 1, 2, 3. Cool. Now, we still have 2 aerial cards in our hand. So, Cannonball is going to do 2 damage on the claw. 1, 2. Cool. Then... Let us six. We're gonna be one short. One short. So it'd be six, that'd be down to four. Yeah, it's gonna be one short. Ugh. And that's two, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we could probably we could probably survive. So we're going to play Razor Dive again. We're going to use the Power of Flight and whatever this card is to deal 6 damage to Cloth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cool. It happens in a solo game where it's well win. <laughs> um, Alright, and then we can do... Oh no, wait, we can't... Oh shoot, we can't be in that form doing that. Shoot. Right, because that's 5, 6, 7, that'd be 8. Because yeah, Oh my god, I don't like that. We have to thwart with one. Okay. Then we'll throw those away. Ready up. So we get five still. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I always forget about the acceleration. All right. Uh, okay. That's not terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put Razor back in the deck. That's true. Should have done that ahead of time, but that's all right. All right, so this goes up one, two, three. One, two, three. What do we have? Nine life? All right. Um, okay. This also should be ready. Uh, we've got four life left. Okay. Let us... Defend two, three, four, five, six. Now that's what we do. All right, Cannonball is going to take this hit. So it's going to be one, uh, four, five damage by Cannonball or two Cannonball. Two damage, one damage, three damage is six damage total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why is it going up by three? What went up by three? Bad card. The villain attacks you. Oh, okay. You already won. I don't ever, never doubt my ability to pull defeat from the jaws of victory. Never, never doubt that ability. All right, so. Let us. Defend three, which is one. Okay, only two damage. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now we should be good. What we're going to do first is we just got to flip to other angel. To my angel. Uh, we could exhaust this to ready up just for funsies. Um, and then we're going to throw away two cards, including avian anatomy, uh, to play metamorphosis to Let's exchange the arch, arch, arch angel to deal three damage to enemy. One, two, three. Then we can do two damage again uh, because of the cost of the card. So that is that minus one, which is cool. And then we could exhaust and deal three damage. One, two, three. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. To minus four. So that was solid. I still don't like, I don't think I like angel and protection. I'm going to be completely honest. 
I like the idea more of Angel in in aggression format. Like I feel like I want to be aggressive with Angel because he has a decent amount of life, right? I feel like anytime this is a bad sleeve. Anytime they have a decent amount of life, I want to like lean into that. 